Hi guys, it's me Stace. I am back again today with another Cricut Explore video. Today is Thursday, therefore it is 3D Thursday, and we're making this awesome 3D Chinese lantern. Isn't that awesome? Now the cut file I did notice was wrong, and I will share that with you uh, when we get to the computer, but there is the lantern. There's the top part. You can attach string there, and then there's an opening on the bottom. Let's get to go to the Cricut, and we will get started. Alrighty guys, we're at the computer. You want to go to cricut.com slash design. You're going to see this screen here, upper left hand corner where it says account. So you want to click on that to sign in, enter in your email and your password. Now you can verify your logged in when you see your name in that gray box. We're going to next click on create new project. On the left hand side toolbar, we're going to go to insert images. And we're going to filter our search by using the cartridge tab here. And the cartridge we are using is a digital cartridge called 3D Chinese Lanterns. Right there. So there's all the images. We're going to view all six. And then click this blue lantern right there. And then insert the image to the mat. Now what I did here, I'm going to, up to where my name is, I'm going to click on that little square to make my grid lines appear. And I'm going to bring this up. It's still all grouped together. I'm going to grab that little handle and bring it down until I'm at the 12 inch mark over here. So it is a 12 by 12 piece of paper. All right, so I have that there. Now this is where the error comes in. Whenever I'm making a project like this, I always like to ungroup so I can see all the components. So you want to have the group selected, right click on it to ungroup it. Then we're going to bring this piece over and this. So there's our three pieces. We have this one here that has the square marks on it. This one that does not have any square marks. And then this one that has score marks. See all them score marks? So what I did, you're going to take the one that has no score marks and then hit delete. So now we have this piece. I want to right click on that one and click on copy. And then click it, right click again and hit paste. So now we're going to have two of those blue images with both score lines. Now this one over here, you can see there are score lines attached to this one. I'm going to right click on it, hit detach, take the larger score line away. See that big score line? Take that away and hit delete. There are still score lines on here, so you want to hit, click on it again, and you're going to see only part of it is going to be highlighted. So hold down your shift button on your keyboard, and then click the other piece there. Go to your layer panel and click on attach. Okay, now, that, now the score lines are attached to this piece. They're on this piece and that one. We're going to go ahead and click on go. It's going to need three mats, so we have our one mat here, our one mat there, and then that one. So we're going to go ahead and click on go. I'm going to load my mat, cut these out, and I'll be with the table. All right, you guys, everything is cut out. We have our two pieces, and they're all scored. You now want to take your bone folder and go ahead and reinforce all those crease marks. And I do recommend a nice, durable, thick cardstock for this. them up here. Okay, now you're going to see there's a little triangle right here. You're going to go ahead and fold that down and I have it go both ways. And there's one on this one. Just kind of finger press it and then once I get it I'll go back in there and crease it really well with my bone folder. There's one down here as well. Fold it both ways. Do the same for this one. And again, just crease it really well once you have it finger pressed. Okay, so that's what that piece looks like. Do the same from this one. side and then once again you want to find the little triangles up here just finger press them and then go back and just reinforce the score okay and up here as well Okay. 
so we have that. Then we have this little piece here. It's already pre-scored. Just go ahead and finger press them. And then you can reinforce the scores at your bone folder. Then we have three score marks on the side. One more here, and then the last one right there. So a lot of creases. All right, so here's our pieces. What we're gonna do first is take this piece and we're gonna put adhesive on it, the little flap. I'm using Stampin' Up's um, tear and tape, but just like score tape, you wanna make sure you're using a nice strong glue. So the first glue I'm applying is on that flap. You're gonna flip it over, or take the other side, and you want your flaps in so they're so they're hidden. Okay, take some more tape. Okay, and then one more here. Okay, so there's those two. Now this is where it gets tricky. Up here again, because I said they messed up on the cut. They did up here where you see this triangle here. Okay, there's also a square. Can you see the square right there? You need to cut along that square. Just take your scissors, and I'm just gonna cut it like that. Leave the square intact. You want that tab to be there. Okay, so there's the little triangle, and there's that. Do the same for the other piece on this side. Let's go ahead and cut up on that. So we have our flap and our triangle. The same thing over here. Cut on the square mark, our flap, and our triangle. One more here, our triangle, and our flap. Okay, so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it over, and we're gonna put adhesive on these little tri triangles. Okay, see them all there? Bring them all out. So see the four triangles? We're gonna go and put a glue there, or adhesive. I'm just gonna use a piece of score tape. And one here. Okay, so that one's done. Same thing over here. We have the triangles that we already cut. You're going to flip it over on those little triangles. You're going to put your adhesive. Okay, so one there, one here, here, and here. All right. What I do now is attach these. So I'm going to take my tape off the one end, right there, and there. I'm going to line them up, make sure you have the same piece going up top. I'm going to kind of butt up against one another, make sure I'm lined up with my score marks, and press it down. Take your bone folder and just kind of go in there, give it a rub, flip this in. So now we have one piece. I'm going to flip it over or expose this tape, take the backing off, Okay, and then just bring this down and lay it flat. And it's gonna line up with that one. Okay, so now we have the base of our lantern. So now down here, what we're gonna do, we're gonna work with the bottom first. We have our score tape. Take it off, then bring this one over. And you wanna line up them sides really nice. Okay, just kinda give it a press. Take your tape off this piece. And then bring it in. You're gonna do that on all the four sides. Take the tape off. Make sure they're lined up nice. And our last one right here, take the tape off and bring it in. Okay, so this is what the bottom looks like. The bottom will stay open like that, okay? All right, now at the top, you're gonna take, let do the same thing. Take the tape off. Okay, and then bring it in. Like that, nice and tight. Take the tape off. 
it in nice and tight. It does help if you have your tape or your adhesive close to that score mark. Whoops. Take that one back off. Okay, so we're going to bring this one over. Okay, and give it a little bit of rub. And our last one is right here. And that's going to go right there. Okay, so now we have these flaps on the inside. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put glue on those as well. For that, I'm just going to use my Tombow glue. So fold the end down. You're going to see your little square flap right there. You're going to put your glue on it. Oops, too much there. And then go ahead and close it up, lining up the sides. Just wipe off any extra glue you have. Of course, you can use your score tape here as well. Okay, so that one's good. Put glue on this flap. Okay, and bring that in. And line it up. And just give it a second to kind of grab. Okay, this one here. I'm actually going to bring that one in. There we go. So on this little flap right there. Okay, and again, line it up on the sides. Wipe up any extra glue you have. And our last one. Bring that in. Put glue on it. And then line it up. Okay, so the top of the lantern has the glue. Okay, wipe off any extra. I'm just going to let them all sit, make sure they're all set up. Alright, so the base of the lantern is done. Now we're going to take this piece and on our score marks right here, on our flaps, go ahead and apply your adhesive. And then one more here. And you'll notice one side of this um, this flap here is smaller. Okay, take all this off. And then one more here. Okay. And then just take it, bend it down, lining it up. Okay, so there's one. I'm going to do, oops, I'm going to put he's on this little flap as well. That little flap, just going to put your score tape on it. off. Okay, now you can just work your way around, lining up, make sure we're even with the crease marks. Our last one. And this little guy just gonna, is going gonna to get tucked in there, like that. Okay, bring back your lantern. Now, I don't know if this is the right way, if this is supposed to be open like that, or if this goes up here. I just think it goes up here. That's where I put it. And it's kind of like a tight little fit. You kind of have to maneuver it a little bit. Okay, oops. Don't cave your box in. Okay, and there is your lantern. I can't get this one in. There we go. I was stuck on a flap. It's going to go all the way down. Okay, it's not going to be... There you go. So there's a lantern. It wasn't too bad, right? You would just attach your string there and then you can hang it to wherever you want to hang it. But hopefully um, it wasn't too bad to put together. Like I said, the cut file was messed up, but once you fix that, um, you're good to go. Any questions at all, guys, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.